Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, quickly, I'm just going to show you something I've just taken out of the box. And this is the Attaball Hybrid 1-12. This is the first focal plane version that has the plum reticle in it. Pretty excited about that. Actually, I'm really excited about that. That might be one of my most um, anticipated things just to receive. I've got lots of stuff coming over the next month or two, but this is really cool because, again, it has that plum reticle. I think uh, Frank Plum, I believe, is the the name behind that so that's pretty exciting and I've seen that style of reticle before I've seen Frank Plum stuff maybe in Steiner some other optics uh, as well but I'm gonna be focusing on the Attaball hybrid 1 to 12 when I review that and looking forward to stretching this out just like the other one to several hundred yards maybe out to 800 yards this time of year it kind of depends on the snow I've taken the second focal plane version, ironically the second focal plane, I've taken out to a thousand yards and done repeat hits on silhouettes at 800 yards as well as 900 yards and lets my friends try it out. Pretty impressed. That's a different reticle, uh, very, very much so the same body as far as I can tell. And uh, I'm really happy with that. This is a 35 millimeter tube, so that's really cool. It has a, I'm gonna, I think it's a patented style of erector tube assembly in here to be able to do this. So again, it's a first focal plane, which is cool. I've already been checking out the illumination and going through here, looking at the illumination on one power and 12 power, just seeing what that's like. Really, the illumination being so bright is functional for one power on this guy. And so I'll have more to say about that. Really appreciate this optic and a couple of the design features here. First thing I did when I took it out of the box was go ahead and test Maybe I'll bring it closer to my mic microphone here. So that looks pretty good there. And then I test out the parallax, which goes down 10 yards and up to infinity. I really like, I really like that it goes down to 10 yards, guys. That's like room distances there. If I can focus for you there. Yeah, that's awesome. Obviously, you kind of leave it on like 50 yards if you're doing medium engagements of targets. Really cool. Everything looks smooth. Looks like it's running the way it should. Very, very smooth on the fin here. I like that. Awesome. Check out those side turrets. I actually haven't checked these out yet. Okay. A little closer to the microphone. Yeah, that sounds good too. Really happy with that. Lift to operate turrets. Again, this is not a review. It's not intended to be a review. I'm hardly giving you any information at all. Just letting you know this is something to look forward to coming up really soon. Everything looks good on the exterior. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say this one looks even nicer than the second focal plane. It just, it looks really, really good. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to compare the two and see why I think that. Uh, very solid feeling optics, both of them. Very solid feeling. But this one in particular, I like this. Maybe it's just because I'm excited about the reticle, but pay attention guys, review will be coming out uh, in the next couple of months.